Hello students, today's agenda is to go over syllabus. We're going to be graphing circles and you will be able to work on 10.1. Today, students will be able to graph circles on a coordinate plane given the equation. And so for this lesson, you will need the compass and you will need a scientific calculator that has the square root. So let's start with, I have this example. And I'm going to explain this, but I'm going to start with the last example, actually. Um, so in here, we have x squared, and we also have y squared. Whenever you have both x and y squared, that means that when you graph it, you're going to form a circle. And so what I'm going to do is start with exercise number four so that you can see the difference. You also have the, the variable x in here, but it has something else in parentheses, and you still have it squared, but outside of the parentheses, and y plus 2 also squared, okay? So both of these form circles. So let me show you, and the reason for which I, I want to start with this one is so that you can see the difference, okay? We're going to find the center. That's the first thing that we're going to find, the center, and in unit 9, you learned about the radius and diameter. Um, uh, but in here, to find the center, for the value of x, we notice that we're subtracting 4. So, x is going to be positive 4. And for y, you're adding 2. So, the value of y is going to be negative 2. So, if you notice, it's the opposite of what you're subtracting, positive, adding, negative. Okay, so that's my first point that I'm going to find. That's the center of the circle that I'm going to be graphing. And so, 4 is on x and the negative 2 is on y. So, 4, you start from the origin and you start counting 1, 2, three, four, and then negative two on y, that means up or down, in this case it's negative, so it's gonna be one, two, and that's your center, okay? So now, uh, to find how, why to open my, my compass from here, like how open I need it, what I'm gonna be doing is that I'm gonna be looking at the answer that I have here, and I'm going to take the square root. And that's going to be the radius of the circle. So what is the square root of 16? Um, many of you already know that the square root of 16 is 4. But you can just press 16, press the square root, and the answer is 4. So... That's going to be all the information you need to be able to graph your circle. We already graphed the center. It's a point. Then this radius, you're going to count from this point, from the center. You're going to count it up, to the left, to the right, and down. And you don't have to do every single one, but it works to see um, how exact it is. So how many will we count from this center? Four points four spaces. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, right there. Then to the left, one, two, three, four, it's right there. Then go down, one, two, three, four, it's right there. And then to the right, one, two, three, four, right there. Ideally, although sometimes our <laughs> we're not perfect, right? And so ideally this compass is going to go through all four points and that's how wide you're going to open it and you start just graphing the circle okay sometimes remember you can just move whoops <laughs> you can just move the page you can go around instead of instead of moving the compass you can just make the paper rotate and that makes it easier okay maybe <laughs> Maybe if you have a better uh, position right here. <laughs> okay, but that's how you find the center is the opposite of what you're adding or subtracting inside of the parentheses. The opposite. 
And for the radius, you just, ta ta you just take the square root of the answer. Okay, let's do now, this was exercise number four. Let's go to number one. And the reason for which I did that is because some people got confused if I start uh, started with a simple one. So let's compare it in here. You're subtracting or adding things inside of a parenthesis. In here, you don't subtract or add. You're ju you just have the variable squared. When there is nothing being added or subtracted, your center will be just zero because you're not subtracting or adding anything, so the answer for x is zero. Same here for y, you're not adding or subtracting anything, so it's just zero, which means your center is at the origin, zero, zero. For the radius, you just take the square root of 49, and you know that the square root of 49 is seven, because seven times seven is 49. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna count seven spaces from the center. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's around here. Then to the right, left, and down, okay? In all directions. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's right there. Then you go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's all the way over here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there. Now let's try to do our circle. But I do want you to notice, or I notice that some of them are a little more elongated, and so that can uh, actually cause this to not be exactly, but we'll see. <laughs> so you open your circle to meet one of those four points, and ideally they'll touch all four points okay right there and that's your circle okay let's do exercise number two again you're not adding or subtracting inside of a parenthesis that's when you put zero okay same here for the center you're not adding or subtracting. Oh, and I want to share that some people want to subtract or put negative two in here because they think that they have to put, uh, have this into consideration, but no, it's only if you're subtracting or adding something inside of a parenthesis. Okay, so you're not in here, so it's gonna be zero, zero again. And for the radius, you take the square root of 20. 20 is not a perfect square. So that's when a scientific calculator will be helpful. So you put the 20, you take the square root of that, and we're gonna round it to the nearest tenths because it's easier to just kind of calculate where that would be. So the tenths, this it's um, seven, which is more than five, I mean five or more, that means this goes up. So it's gonna be 4.5, meaning four and a half. So, my center is at zero, zero, which is the origin. The radius is 4.5, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and half of the next one. For this one, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and half of the next one. One, two, three, four, and half of the next. One, two, three, four, and a half and so again ideally you put this in the center and place it at one of the points it can be any of the four and then you start graphing your circle okay and this wants to move on me let's try to trap it and there you go. Again, it's not as perfect, um, but you can see that it touches kind of <laughs> the all four points. Okay, number three. 
Notice how in here again, you don't subtract or add anything inside of a parenthesis, but look in here, number three, you're not adding or subtracting on the X, but you're subtracting on the Y. So for the center, this is going to be zero for X, but if we're subtracting, you do the opposite of that, which is if it's negative one, you're going to have positive one. That's for the center and for the radius, you just take the square root of the answer and the answer of the square root of 36 is six. Why? Because six times six is 36. Or you can just go to your calculator, put 36, take the square root of that and the answer is six. Okay, so the center is not at the origin anymore because you are subtracting in one of them and so it's zero for x, meaning you don't move on x to the sides right you always have x first and y second always to the sides and then this up and down so zero for x but then one for y which is right there that's my center from there i'm going to count six spaces so it's going to be one two three four five six notice how i'm counting from the center okay not from the origin but from the center and so we're gonna do the same thing to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, we place this in the center. We align it to one of the points and We start graphing our circle. And there you have it. So again, if number four we already did, we subtracted on both and that's why you have values for both X and Y. Again, because we were subtracting four, the answer for X is positive four. If we're adding two for Y, we, the, uh, the answer is negative 2, the square root of 16 is 4, the center was 4, negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, that's my center, and then for the radius we counted 4, counted 4, counted 4, counted 4, and you just go ahead and form your circle. So that's it for today. You can now work on 10.1 and have fun.